Welcome into today's broadcast right here at Cog Hill Farm. Now, Peaches wouldn't let Nugget into the house for this episode, so here's Jason, Brooke, and our chicken master, Mary Carl. What is up, everybody? This is another episode of the Cogcast Podcast. This is number 39 of the Homesteading Podcast here on YouTube and Facebook and all your favorite podcast apps. Um, we are behind on podcast. Uh, our schedule is so messed up. You know, I was just thinking, you would think that we'd have a better schedule since I don't have a full-time job, but it's the total opposite. Well, because I'm going to tell you, I have become a full-time employee <laughs> since you've been off. <laughs> we all have. It has been 40 days now that you've yeah. been off, and I am now fully employed. <laughs> I went from being part time a stay-at-home mom, yeah. homeschool mom. And now I'm just a full-time employee. We're into summer with our school, so it is. Uh, I've gone whew. to work. It is. We have been because we actually were had a schedule because <laughs> I worked a full-time job. That's you know, right. it was from seven thirty. I got home around six. I don't know how we did it. And you know, we had set things we had to do, and so the podcast got recorded on a certain day at a certain time. And you would think that would be a lot easier since I'm not working it, but it's not because we have no schedule. It's loose, and we go from sun up to sundown right now, and it makes it ten times more <clears throat> difficult. So we're so sorry about the podcast being late, just random days because it was on Tuesdays Don't and even start because I can't remember Thursdays. I think that's what it was. I think so. Anyway, I don't know. somewhere around there. Um. It's just whenever we can get it out, like, you know, this week we've put out four pallets a side or five pallets a side. That's right. Five. Five pallets a side. That I was took, thinking it was four, but it was it's five. five. That took two nights. And we then we were out of town yesterday. And then uh, it's just, it's, we're just crazy. We got to eat at some point. We got to eat. And we stink from time to time. <laughs> so we have to get our nasty selves cleaned up. That takes time. Yeah. You know, you just don't think about these things. But by the end, by the last night, we didn't get home until almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, it was 10 o'clock. And I told you that we act like we're teenagers staying out that late. (laughs) That's right. I was tired. And we really didn't do anything but drive. We did a lot of driving yesterday. So, well. Stay tuned for the video on that, by the way. Yeah, that that will be coming out the next. Saturday? The next video. That will be coming out Saturday about what we did. Was it was an ongoing thing? I don't know when this podcast is going to go out. Recorded the podcast today is Thursday, so this would be Friday if the internet allows us. That's the other thing we've been going through. Um, getting back to podcast and the schedule, so we have decided that we're going to do farm chores in the morning, come in and record the podcast in the morning time. Here's the kicker. We decided this yesterday, yeah, and we were going to do that this morning. And we got sidetracked. And we got sidetracked, and here it is, six sixteen yep. in the evening, and we're recording the podcast. And we're nasty, which is totally just. <laughs> we have, we just got in. We, got we in. just got in, and just I cooked got in, dinner, and you cooked. We ate and came up here. Yes, so. that's that's how we roll. And now Mary Carl's getting cleaned up. She was kind of done for yep. for the day, so she's she's taking a shower and getting herself cleaned up. And her daddy and her are going to watch TV when we're done with That's this. That's right, because we've missed like two nights in a row. So it's been... Do we met, no, we didn't watch it last night. We no, we were going to hear. Yeah. So we're, Not our, here. Our, our TV watching schedule's even been off. <gasps> it has been a mess. And Mary Carl's not here with us. I tell you, she's got where... She... I don't know. She just... she She's been tired. But now she's... I don't know if I want to do a podcast. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It either. used to be our schedule revolved around her because she wanted to do it. So maybe that's part of it. it. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe we're not pressured to come and do it because she's not saying, "Hey, I want to do a podcast. Can we please do a yeah, podcast?" Because she was coming up with ideas for the podcast. I mean, she was in charge of it. She's for about- got multiple things printed out. She wants to talk about, but she said, "Mama." do I need to do the podcast tonight? And I said, baby, that's just up to you. Yeah. And she said, I'm going to go take a bath. Yeah. And so, I said, okay, we'll see you in an hour. So, but I mean, she's 11 years old. So, I mean, this is 11 typical. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. So, I mean, she's. Changing. She's Things a, are changing. She's a, she's a kid. And so. 
She still loves her mom and daddy, though. That's right. <laughs> and her chickens and ducks. As long as that's <laughs> still happening, then we know she's still in. Yeah, we're good to she's go. She's good. Yeah, we're she's good, good to go. She, she's healthy and happy. And <laughs> That's right. Okay, so our goal is to get back on a schedule. Yes. We're not going to announce what that schedule is right now. Mm-mm. We're going to start recording in the mornings and, like and I said, then we'll, we'll get through the chores, know. record the podcast, and then... We're going to make it get a schedule. It. And then, of course, we're getting back to the internet. Internet's been issues, but we have great news about the internet. Well, let me start this story first, if you will allow. So excited. So excited. <laughs> so this is how the story goes. This morning, I get a phone call before I was even up and stirring around. Let me interrupt you. This is <laughs> after the fact that, see, we record our, we upload our videos on YouTube and Facebook. Well, our podcast hasn't been uploaded on Facebook since I quit. And 40 then, days. Yeah. So, I've been still uploading. Well, today, well, yesterday I started the Facebook video, and it got to 25%, and it quit. And, and that we was were after not about, here, so we didn't see that quit. That was after about three or four hours. So, I got it going again last, last night. night, and it got to about 60%, and it quit at some point. So, I started again this morning. And then I looked, and it went back to zero. And he's talking about percent percent of the, of upload, the video yeah. that had uploaded. So it didn't upload. It, it didn't went upload. back to zero. And you talk about frustrated. Yeah, because it takes it, it takes like ten hours all day yesterday yep. and all night last night. We couldn't do anything on the internet last night when we did get home. Yeah. Couldn't turn on the TV because it pulls it down because it so takes much. so much yeah. internet to try to do that upload. And so to wake up this morning and to find that it wasn't upload, you felt like it's very frustrating. You were just yeah. in a no win situation, especially because you know our fans they get used to that schedule and they know that on on YouTube Wednesday and Facebook. Saturday. Facebook. There's going to be a YouTube video around 8 o'clock, and then Facebook's going to be... Um, Thursday and Sunday. Thursday and Sunday. And so the Facebook fans are looking for that video. Well, their video didn't come out today. so And you there's know, nothing we can do about it. Right. We have upgraded our internet to what is called platinum. It is platinum. We pay the highest dollar mm-hmm. amount there is offered, and it still doesn't cooperate and it's where we're located we're down in this 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 kind of valley and then we got we're surrounded by trees and so the signal kind of goes over the top of us and that's our biggest issue and i know some people say hey you all try this try this well we knew what she's fixing to tell you was eventually going to happen yes so my phone rings this morning (laughs) and it's a um a clanton alabama phone number and i saw it ringing and i my warranty is not expired. I'm yeah. not answering the phone this right. early in the morning you didn't because win. my well, phone service is terrible. So yeah, I have phone to, service is the same here too. <laughs> so I have to go to a specific part in the house, turn on my airplane mode on my phone, mm-hmm. turn it back off, and that's where our cell signal booster is. We got a booster, but it's Still kind sketchy. of central localized little spot in the house. So I didn't answer it, and it rang again. Mm-hmm. And this time... It rang out loud. Mm-hmm. It, my phone was on vibrate. So yeah. I don't know. Mary Carl was still asleep. I didn't want it to wake her up. So it rang out loud. And I thought, well, she's going to wake up now because yeah. she's going to hear that phone ringing. So I thought, I better answer this. Nobody calls twice back to back. Right, unless right. It's, you know, it's, it's not going to be about my warranty. They don't do that. It's right. a one call thing. So I answered it. And um, is this Brooke? And I was like, yes, it is. And I couldn't hear. I couldn't uh-huh. hear. It was static. He uh-huh. thought it was on his end. Uh-huh. So he's trying to get to a better location while I'm trying to do the same. Right. So I get to my spot and I crouch down like I'm supposed to, uh-huh. to get that signal. And he says, I'm with Central Alabama Access and we are here at your location to install your fiber internet. So we're getting fiber optic internet. And I said, what? Yes. He said, yes, ma'am. He said, there's a gate here and it's locked. I said, well, I could tell you how to get in. Yep. And so he followed my steps and he said, you don't need to be here. I'm just going to run this cable. And do you want it ran to the where the little camper is? And I said, yes, sir. I sure do. I said, does this mean we're going to have internet? No, ma'am. I can't tell you when that's going to be. I was like, well, at least step one. Step one, done. the cables ran. The cables ran. So this is great. 
So I'm all giddy, and I said, Jason, you're not going to believe this. You're not. That was Central Alabama Access, and they're calling to tell us that our internet cable is going to be ran today. Now, we're not going to have internet, right. but this is a cable this ran, cable. step one. So we're all giddy. I mean, because he was just getting over the frustration of the Facebook video not uploading. Okay, Jason, you stay here. You do chores. I have to go to the welding shop to pick up our Airstream trailer, I guess you'd call it. It's the Airstream trailer. It's the frame part. I had him sandblast the tongue of the trailer mm-hmm. because Jason had already went over the rest of it with a wire wheel and it kind of created pits and stuff. And we want the front where the tongue is going to be exposed to be pretty. That's right. You know, this is going to be a well did up trailer, we hope, when we we're hope, finished. Yeah. So I had been waiting on this guy to get his um, sandblasting machine fixed. It was actually his air compressor. It was the problem. Okay. So I took I had taken the trailer over there earlier this week. He called me and told me it was ready. Mary Carl and I go to pick the trailer up. Looks great. Looks phenomenal. Here I am. I had to back down our little dead end road because I decided <laughs> in order for me to get this 30 foot trailer <laughs> down our driveway where we have just had a lot of dirt dumped to, yeah. to raise the level mm-hmm. of the property. That the best thing for me to do would be to back the trailer down the driveway. Jason's not with me. I told him I would call him when I got home so mm-hmm. he could direct me to get in the gate. Me being hard-headed, I can do it myself. I didn't need to call him. But as I'm backing this 30-foot trailer up, my phone rings. I said, Mikro, who is it? It says Clanton, Alabama. I said, answer it. <laughs> and I'm backing up, you know, trying, yeah. going down this dead-end road, not knowing when a car's going to come. Right. She answers and I'm on speaker and I'm looking and I'm backing up this trailer. And Miss um, Miss Brewer, this is so and so with Central Alabama Access. I was like, yes, ma'am. Um, we would like to know when that you would like your fiber optic internet to be installed. I mean, ma'am, hooked up, ma'am, live. Uh, are you kidding? I said, you don't know. I'm so excited. (laughs) (laughs) So she says, when would you like this to be done? I said, today. And she said, well, let me look and see what I have available. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. So she looks and she looks and we had some days where we couldn't do it because we have some plans. And so the next available day was Wednesday of next week where we wouldn't be To where we could get over there, because somebody has to be there. Yeah, somebody's got to be there. To let them in our camper to install the internet. internet, Our little camper. (laughs) That's where we're going to put it, because we got to have better internet. that's right. Next Wednesday, between 1 and 3. I'm like, okay, so I'm still back in the trailer. By this time, Mary Carl said, Mama, is it okay if I get out and walk home? She was feeling a little nervous about me back in this 30-foot trailer down the road. I was going to do it down the driveway. So I said, sure, get out. So she walks. This is like... Half a mile, I guess you would say. Right. But she decides she wants to walk, so I let her go. I'm still talking on the phone while I'm trying to get out of the road. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing, but I'm on speaker. And I, she said, okay, between 1 and 3 on Wednesday. And I said, yes, ma'am. I said, you, you don't have anything tomorrow, do you? Hold on just a minute and let me look. So by this time, we have a gate, and it stays locked. It stays shut. Mm-hmm. It's an automatic gate. And so by this time, I realized that, I was going to time out <laughs> back in that trailer oh, gosh, in, because it only on has you? like a 45 second yeah. interval. And I had already opened it. I had started backing up and I said, it's going to take me longer than 45 seconds. Right. I'm on the phone with her. I don't want to hang up with her, right. but I also don't want to lose my signal. Right. So I go and I take the actuators out of the gate mm-hmm. while I'm on the phone with mm-hmm. her. I take the actuators out and she comes back and she says, Miss Brooke. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, we do have openness tomorrow between eight and nine, 10 to 12, one to three, three to five. And I was like, I take the one to three. <laughs> and she, I said, ma'am, does this mean that tomorrow we're going to have internet? She said, yes, ma'am. She said, you'll need to to pay your um, first month's bill. And I said, I can pay you right now. And she said, no, I don't mean you have to pay me right now. I'm just saying that you're going to be billed starting tomorrow for mm-hmm. your first month. I said, that is absolutely fine. I have no problem with that. Yes. She said, tomorrow you will be active. And we're getting one gigabyte. She asked what service I yes. wanted, and it was like, what were the options? 
Uh, they were all pretty fast, way faster than we got now. It may have been 30 megabytes was the lowest, and all the way up to one gigabyte. And it wasn't can, that much price difference. Yeah, and the one gigabyte's a thousand megabytes. So we average at peak here, download speed, 10 megabytes. If that's on a great day, the sun's shining, <laughs> and upload And if you around, hold your mouth just yeah, right. We upload anywhere at max at two megabytes. But usually in between one or a half. This means that's why it takes a nothing long. to me. All I know is it's yeah. extremely slow. So we're going from ten to a thousand. Like we can't watch TV and be on your phone at the same time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, we're going from ten to a thousand. So that's that's a lot faster. So I know what a big deal this is, and I don't know how fast it's going to be. I'm gonna find out. Yeah. But. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. So I get back to my trailer backing up. I'm grinning this mm-hmm. right now, but I'm still nervous about backing this trailer because, first of all, I'm going straight down a hill mm-hmm. and I've got the tailgate lowered where I can see the trailer, but I still, it's out of view. Even with the camera, it's out of view as to see where my tires are on the driveway. Right. Being stubborn, I hadn't called Jason to tell him I needed him to help, him, help me because I wanted him to know I could do it by myself. <laughs> so, I get the 30-foot trailer back down the driveway, and I park it up under the carport. She did. And here's Jason outside to move the little beep beep because it was in that parking spot. I get out of the truck, and I said, you're not going to believe this. He said, what is it? He thought something bad had happened. Yeah, I did. And I said, no, it's good, but guess what happened? You're not going to believe this. He was like, what is it? And I said, we're getting the internet tomorrow. And he was like, you got to be kidding me. I couldn't believe it. I really, I thought... I figured they would run the cable. I thought it'd be a month. And I thought it'd be another month before they would actually go live because this guy was just running the cable. And I, I asked him, and he said, "I, you and know, I really don't. know. I really don't know it, but um, it may be a little bit before they, you know." I was turn thinking on, that so. they would do like a lot of people at one time and wait till they all ran. Maybe That's we're just, the last one. I have no idea how this works. I have no idea, but it's I'm that road is a long road. Is it very? And long we are road. almost to the end. So it may be that when they finished that row, they decided that we will cut them on. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm glad they decided what they decided. This was their switch. I know it because now, you know, it's still going to be a little bit inconvenient because we have to drive to the new farm, which is around 30 minutes, give or take, away from us now. I don't care. But the fact that I can upload everything now, everything, the Facebook, all my fa- all the Facebook fans will be happy because they can watch everything on Facebook and then there won't be, I mean, I've had YouTube issues last, I think it was last week, we didn't get a video uploaded to five or six o'clock because of internet. So I won't have to worry about that anymore. I know there will be issues from time to time. Nothing is perfect. Right. Nothing works, you know, a hundred percent fail proof. We understand that. But to go from where we are now to where we will be, Yes. It's going to be a game changer. It is going to be a game changer for sure. I have ha- been giddy all day. Just little silly stuff is coming out of my mouth that doesn't <laughs> even make sense. I was this close this morning. We have a neighbor, and we actually, it's the house that we flipped, uh-huh. and we sold to him. And when we, when upon chatting with him, you know, from time to time, he's very private. We don't see him very often. He has mentioned to me in the past, I have... Um, Charter internet, and you're welcome to use it anytime you want to. I was this close this morning to saying, "Are is that all for still staying?" Yeah, we um, we've looked at um sitting in Walmart parking lot the upload. We've but, drove yeah. to Walmart and tried to see what their speed was. The issue with the podcast is the podcast is an hour, so it takes a while to upload, and usually your free internet access like a Walmart or these businesses. They don't have fast upload speeds, so it would take a pretty good long time for it to upload. If you if you tried it that way, um, we went thought about my mom and dad, and they're kind of the same way. They got charter, but they have you know a pretty decent download, but uploading to it, it was only two megs. We looked, so that wouldn't help us very much either. So we've been kind of. You know, when I quit, I didn't think it was going to be an issue because I thought I had all these options, and I just assumed I did, but it turns out I was wrong. I was really, really wrong on that. Well, it's been a um, it's been a nail-biter in several situations where we felt like we didn't know how we were going to get it uploaded. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been trying, but, you know, 
I mean, this is when this becomes your your pri- your primary. Um, yeah, this is income, this is our job. This is our income. Then yeah. you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a the power going out and you not having any way to work and yeah, you're not your phone paid system for going dead for for two days. Yeah, I mean, or three days or a week. It's and, just you know, yeah, and especially the what if what if it doesn't upload. Yeah. What what are you gonna do? You don't have a backup. Don't have a backup. There is no backup. Yeah. So now, I mean, there may be times when we say, "Hey, we're not gonna be able to go over there tomorrow because we got this to do and this to do," and we will have our internet here yep. for an option. But to have this is a yeah. game. This changer. is gonna be big. And plus, too, we they let us know because we knew the fire octa was coming. This was big news because it's it's this and it's only in super rural areas and. The, and that's what it's for because these rural areas, like like where we are now, and it, you don't have good internet. Now I know you got the Elon Musk internet, the Starlink, I think that's, and people that's becoming available, but um, which is great. And we would go on that route if it wouldn't have been for this fiber that's optics. Right. But we knew this was coming, and they told us that it was going to be around June or well, the, the second quarter. You know what they told you? Yeah, a third quarter. I think I don't know. One, it was mid-summer, mid to late summer, we were going to have internet. So we knew it was coming, so we are just hoping we could just bide our time and make it work until it happened, and now it's tomorrow it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. Yep. We've got to meet the guy over there between 1 and 3, and I bet you we'll be there at 12 o'clock. Yeah. We <laughs> we'll be. be there waiting on him. We'll be waiting on him for sure. And so um, when that happened, we were trying to figure out the placement of our house. Yeah, this is another. This is another thing that's been been a um, ongoing decision. We think we've probably changed it three times. Well, I don't know why we didn't have that issue with our house. I think your daddy must have made the decision. That's all I can figure. Plus, we're going from seven acres to the whole forty is not buildable, but let's just say twenty. So we're going from seven acres. To 20 and so that kind of you got to find the right spot so we got a lot more area that we're, we're, we're we can build it now at this place versus we didn't really have that much area to build here yeah i guess we kind of came to a clearing maybe and decided i think that that's what this it was going to be the least yeah, amount we of trees to be on the down. hill and see it coming yeah, yeah so yeah so it, so we we every time we think we have an area mapped out and planned out we think do we really want it right here? Let's go check this out. Let's go look mm-hmm. at this. So this afternoon we had to run over. Why did we run over? We had to go check on. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we ran over to the farm. And we had to go get feed. Yes, we ran over to the to the forty today, and we have it mapped out where we are first thinking we would like the house. And I said, since I had talked to the people about possibly supplying power to the barn let's don't feel like we're so restricted power wise they'll put power wherever we build a house right so let's look at all locations and make sure this is where we want it that's right because they're going to put power wherever we want it right just mark that off the list because the power company wants your business and i have not really looked anywhere else except for where power is right and me and mary carl had had kind of mapped out with flagging two spots one where we've originally been wanting in that area and one in a totally different area and, Jason and i wanted you to see it. had wanted me to see the other day but we had a trailer hooked up and i didn't want to pull it all the way across the mm-hmm. 20 acres to get there and we were tired it was the end of the day and i said look i said i feel like we just need to put it where we initially thought and let's just go on home yeah. and i've been thinking about it ever since that I should have looked. I right. should have looked. Should've I mean, looked. I should have looked. I should have said, you know, you're not that tired. Go look. Yeah. Unhook that trailer. Walk over there. Right. You know, but I didn't. So I've been thinking about it ever since. Is this the right place? Should we look somewhere else? So today we did. And so as we're looking, we start thinking of angles. Well, just because we don't want to look at this, we could turn the house a little bit right. and you won't be looking at whatever that eyesore was or whatever we thought wasn't so pretty you know maybe a little elevation where there was a hill in front of us right. if we turn it this way we won't see that hill right so one option was turn it this way well i was like i don't want to look at that yeah and the more we started thinking you know if that was something to look at you might want to turn it that way right and that's something to look at maybe a pond 
Yep, because we've discussed about building a pond on the the new farm. Nothing huge, just no, a small. No, we don't want anything and, huge. You know, we're thinking about an acre, uh, so that's going to be our starting point. So we're thinking of turning the house this way because that's where that low area was. And if you watch the videos, you saw where the mulching was yes. done, and it kind of mm-hmm. goes down. And the mulching guy said, that's where I'd put my pond. Yep. He said, I have that dam up. And we had never thought about it no. because we had never seen it empty and we didn't realize i mean we knew it went down right but we didn't realize the opportunity that stood in front of us yeah so it it, it, it may be it may be a lot less work of building a pond there because three sides are done you have just to build a dam that's, that's right. what we're thinking well that's what he recommended that's and what i he think he has a little more no you know because he deals a lot with land he, he does so, he I sees mean, yeah. things like yeah. that so i'm thinking my wheels are starting to spin and i'm thinking you know Initially, we were thinking coming off that spring yeah. that's back behind the barn mm-hmm. because there's water already there. Right. Mary Carl does not want to disturb that spring. Right. She does not. She told us today that if she had to dig that spring up, she doesn't even want a pond. Yeah. Because it's just beautiful and it's natural. Right. And that just shows you her love of nature. And, yeah, that's right. And the, um, the beauty that was put in front of us without having anything man-made mm-hmm. put in front of it. And we said, are you sure? And she said, yes. She said, I don't want to mess it up. Right. So um, we know we're going over there tomorrow anyway for the internet. Yes. And there just so happens to be a man that lives, what, two houses down? Yeah. Which is still, you know, probably a oh, mile yeah, or so it's down rural, the road. So but it's, yeah, you know, but two houses down. He, um, he, he, he's a... I don't know. He's in the land business. He and does. And he builds ponds. He builds ponds. Yeah. And I was told this a long time ago about when we first bought the land by a man that worked on some land next to us. He said, I see and right there. And he pointed down to his house and he gave me his phone number. And mm-hmm. I've held on to that phone number since we closed on the land. So after um, we were leaving there, going to get some feed, mm-hmm. and I said, Hey, y'all, I said, since we're going over here anyway tomorrow, do y'all want me to call him and see if he might come meet us to see about a pond? Mm -hmm. Because we have no idea. We have literally no no idea. idea. We don't know how much it's going to cost. We don't know what it's going to take. And if we don't know if that area is even possible to build a pond. And if if we can build a pond there, will this change where we put the house now? That's right. That's what we were thinking. As Jason said, turn the house this way. And I was like, oh to look at that hole yeah and 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 i said well what if something was in that hole Mm -hmm. if it was water in that hole and i could see mary carl's ducks and geese swimming across the Mm -hmm. pond then it might be a reason to turn the house that direction absolutely so here we are trying to figure out where we're going to put the house because we're getting down to the nitty-gritty as far as time you know right and our architects working on plans we need to be able to you know firmly say where we want it that's right and so I said, we need to go ahead and find out if this is a feasible spot for a pond. Because if it is, it may just totally redirect the building of the house. So that was another big, big thing that big happened. Thing. He answers the phone and he says, uh, he was in Selma. Yeah, he was close to us now. And I said, you're in my neck of the woods. That's right. And that's our main city. And um, I said, what's your schedule like? He says, wide open. I Crazy. Was like, uh-uh. Yeah. Well, the the... Thing is, is he has all the equipment. It's right there near us. It's yep. not like he's going to be having to have a lot of transporting. He's got dump trucks. He's got track hoses. He's, I mean, he's got everything. Everything's right there. And he there. knows about building a pond. Yes. And I, and we feel like he knows about elevation and and where would be a good place for us to Because that's the house. been our other issue is is that we're so worried that if about where the location of the house is. Um, um, it looks like the land slopes a little slopes towards the It slopes a little house. bit this way or slopes a little bit that way. Is that going to be an issue? And, you know, you see houses built on slopes. and So I just want somebody to say, man, no. Look, you could put the house right there. We could bring a little bit of dirt in, yeah. bring it up right here, do this, do that. And, and you know, that's perfectly fine. And I just want somebody to give me, you know, that assurance. And that's well, what I want. It's definitely not our expertise as for dirt not work at and all. what it not would take all. to build, you know, up instead of right and site work. I mean, site work. When we first talked with our builder, he didn't see a lot of site work being involved in the initial spot. Yeah. Um, 
We don't want to get into a lot of site work, but we also want it where we want it. Want it where we want it. That's right. Um, that doesn't make sense, but it's the truth. I mean, we don't want to have to go into a whole lot of uh, ordeal to get the house to where the slab can be poured. Right. But we also want it where we want it. Yeah. We, it's yeah. there. It's going to be there. It's, it's not like we can there. pick it up and move it. Right. I don't have any regrets about where we put this house. No. Oh, I mean, I've perfect. never second guessed myself. Not at all. And I sure don't want to have a house built and say, why in the world did we turn it this way? Or why do we put it here and not over there? Yes. That yeah. was that we just should have thought it out more. Yep. So if we spend a lot of time thinking about it, even if it was a mistake, we did everything we could do. That's right. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, but kind of where you put your house is kind of a big decision. Kind of a big decision. And I guess for the most part, like I said, it's just because we have you know, we got several places that we can put it. That's right. And, and we so, want it, you know, there's a place that we really like, but it's away from everything. Yeah. So the barn's away from it. The garden. The garden's away from it. It's just, it's away from everything. I just don't feel right about it. Just, this just doesn't, I don't know. I keep telling Jason, I don't know what it is. I just don't, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, if it don't feel right, then we're not building it there. And that's sure. why I told you the other day I didn't even want to go look over there because yeah. I just felt like it wasn't the right place. And then after I looked, after I did go look today, I just still felt that way. I yeah. said, it's just not right. It's just yeah. not right. So back to him, he said his schedule was wide open. He right. was in Selma today. He said, I said, well, when would you be available? He said, well, when will you be over there? I said, I'm going to be there tomorrow between 1 and 3. Uh huh. And he said, well, it just might work out where I can meet with you tomorrow. I'll I'll give you a call. <laughs> and so I'm like, internet in a pond in the same day? Ain't can it be truth. real? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I don't care if we don't get a pond bill for 10 years. Right. I need to know for the future. Yeah. I mean, what's it going to cost? Is it, you know, can we afford it? Um, is this something we can afford now? Is there something we have to save up money for? That kind of thing. And if we can or can't, how far away and will this determine or placement place, of the house? Yeah, or be a deciding factor of placement of the house. Well, Mary Carl was with us all day. And so after dinner, we were putting up our plates and putting up our stuff. And here she comes. Here she comes. Mom, I got to show you something. I said, Baby, I just ate dinner. I didn't even drink anything. Can you wait just a minute? Yeah. She said, yeah, I just want to show you something. I said, okay, just a minute, just uh-huh. a minute. Here she comes. She brings it to me. I said, what is it? It's some it's some pencil call ducks. <laughs> she heard us talking about that pond. She's already planning she's what, fan- kind of, what kind of waterfowl she's going to put in it. Swan. <laughs> she's been talking about all kind of stuff. And she saves all her money, so we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. About her birds and her swans and her... Her, we yeah. buy all the food. We're not talking about her paying for the pond, so oh, y'all don't no, go crazy. No, 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 no. Mary Carl does. She does work, and she gets money, and she gets some gifts, gift money, and she gets. She's got a nanny, so nanny's gonna give her some money. Yeah, and she saves and for she things saves. that she saves. And then really when she wants. sells something, silkies, or she sells a chicken or whatever, she keeps that money, and so she saves it, and that's what she likes to buy with it. Yes, it's, that's it's, what she. And we like for her to realize that it takes money to buy things that you want, right. and I think that's a good teaching example. Is if she wants. I'm not going to say a swan because that's kind of out of her money that's range. That's out of her price range, yeah. But if she wants some snowy pencil call ducks or yeah. whatever it was, then she can save up. And if we were to have a pond, then she can have them. And we also need to know about predators and build a place to lock them up at yeah. night. And So her daddy told her, he said, baby, he said, you can dream all you want to, but we need to make this a reality before we start ordering anything. Yeah, we need to get over there and get set and have everything ready before we start buying stuff and have it here to take over there. That's right. That's just not going to work out well. Well, my dream for tomorrow is for him, first of all, to come meet us. Yes. Second of all, to give us a figure that we can work with. Just... I know he can't give us something exact, but he could probably give us something he can, around He'll know how about. much dirt yeah. it's going to take to yeah. bring in and how much he's going to have to pull out. And I think that will give him a good figure as to what it's going to take. Much. Yeah. And pipe. He knows how much the pipe's going to cost. Yeah. Yep. So that would give him another. You know, you can go with a big pipe or you can go with a little pipe and he'll know about all that. He'll tell us. Yeah. He'll and I would do. like for the pond, I think 
that this area that we're talking about is about an acre in that bottom cleaned out. I think so too. He'll know about what size mm-hmm. that is. Um, I hope he meets us. I really do. Fingers I think he crossed. will, but I hope it is tomorrow. Oh, he's going to meet us. That's, yeah. that's no doubt. But I feel like we need to meet with him sooner than later so we yeah. can figure out this house placement. I placement. agree. And it's not like if we do build the house facing the pond, it's not going to be like right on the pond. It's not like that. But I don't want a view of uh, low line. You yeah. know, it's yeah. just, it's, yeah. to me, it's nothing there to see. I got you. So, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed, though. Fingers if it crossed. Hopefully it all works out. Hopefully. If it's meant it to work out, out, it's going to work out. But That's I right. guarantee you one thing. We're going to have internet tomorrow. <laughs> the good, the good Lord willing, willing in the, the creek, creek don't rise. rise. <laughs> We're going to have internet tomorrow. We're going to have internet tomorrow. Yeah. We're, We're gonna gonna be, going to be, y'all going to be talking about, I wish them cog hills would just shut up. They do them podcasts every day. <laughs> they uploading us. They upload like crazy. We wish they'd stop. <laughs> so, oh man, it's gonna be nice. Y'all just don't know how nice it's gonna be to have the internet. It's gonna be nice. I don't mind driving you. No, good. I can't do no uploading, but I can drive yeah. you. <laughs> I'll be glad to. Um, speaking of driving, yeah, we have officially bought. The 1969 Ford F-100 pickup truck. If y'all guys remember a few podcasts ago, we haven't made a vlog on it yet because, you know, it's it nothing happened. really to be vlogged about right now. But we have bought an old farm truck that we're going to kind of leave as it is, the outside of it. We want a patina. We don't care if the paint's peeling. We just want it to look like an old farm truck. And we haven't, we think in it's our not podcast. Here. It's, no, not it's not here. It's not here. Yeah. I just um, shook the whole camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we the, the young man and the dads got it, and so they agreed to fix it up and get it because we we got it running, cranked it up, had, had this thing. I just I don't think we knew this in the last podcast when we talked about it, but it hasn't ran in 30 years. It hasn't been cranked or driven in 30 years. He got it cranked and running. Um, sounded awesome. Other thing was was the transmission because it's got an automatic transmission. And this truck was fully loaded. He looked up the numbers. He said this was truck was special ordered by somebody and was fully loaded. Had all the options you could have on a '69 Ford F100 truck back in the day. He said this was a special truck. It's a short wheelbase, short bed, which is also odd for him, according to him. I'm no expert on these things, especially Ford, because I've worked at a GM dealer for 22 years. I know what was odd. It What's had that? a sliding rear window. It's got a sliding rear window in I it. I didn't even know they made those back then. It's got an automatic transmission in it. It's got the chrome kit package. It's just, it's, this thing would have been an awesome truck, brand new. It probably would have looked just amazing. But the automatic transmission was cool. Um, but like I said, hadn't been driven in 30 years, so we didn't know. So he got it. It doesn't have brakes because the brakes, the lines have kind of dry rotted off. And so. He was. He said, "Well, we can put it in reverse, and I can put it back in park if it goes on us, or I can ease it back." He said, "This is not going to be that big a deal." So I did, and the wheels tried to turn, but they didn't turn really good. And I thought, "Oh goodness, you know, transmission's not going to be, you know, workable." So we're going to take it out and have it rebuilt. And so this was kind of the hiccup of me, hundred percent buying the truck. Um, if the transmission didn't work. I still think I probably would have gotten it. I just would have cost me a little bit more money to go, you know, to get it going. Getting into that pond money. Getting into that pond money. (laughs) But anyways, he called me two days later. Him and his dad put the the rear end on jack stands, put it in gear and didn't run. And so what it was is, is that it just needed a little bit more transmission fluid so they kept putting transmission fluid in it, and boom, started going, and has all three gears and reverse. So we said, well, uh, we're 100% in. So I took him the money for the truck, and I've been giving him parts. So he's got, gosh, I forget what all I gave him here recently. It's a big box, because I went and picked box. them up for you. Yeah, so. it was plugs, wires, thermostat, water pump, um, starter, uh, spark plug, spark, spark plug, plug wires. yeah, spark plug wires, cap, rotor button. We're converting it from 
points to uh, electronic ignition or an igniter. So you got that. You got the coil that goes with it. Voltage regulator. I gave him a good bit, bit of stuff he can start on. Um, he started taking the carburetor off and started rebuilding it. And he said the carburetor on the inside was absolutely immaculate. So he said it's really not a rebuild, honestly. He said it's just like a just a touch-up. He said it's not going to need much at all. So it looks like the truck is a go. Now, I don't know how far along it's going to be before we actually get it here. Did um, they take the camper shell off yet? The camper shell's still on it. Okay. Can't taken it off yet. He did clean the inside up, and the inside was way nicer than what I When, when I opened wrote. the door, yeah. I shut it back, and I told me across it. I don't know if we want this truck or not. Yeah. Because it was just full of stuff, and, I, and I'm usually quick to overlook stuff like yep. that. But I don't know why, but I just saw it as, mm. Mm, it's, um, yeah, but, uh, it's, it's cleaned up now. And Jason came home up. with a smile on his face. I didn't go with him to drop off the parts, but when you got home and you were like, they clean, they, they cleaned out the front of the truck and it looks really good. It did. It looked, it looked, you know, I, I wish I had went with you then. Yeah. It was a uh, 180 degrees. I mean, it was, it was just, it was way different from what it looked like. Now, don't get me wrong. It don't look like the 2021 <laughs> Pickup well, truck. That isn't the goal, though. But it still, it looked way better. Um, Now, there was, he said, now the other thing was there's a little bit more rust in the floor than he originally thought. But he said that's no big deal on these trucks. You can buy floor pans for 40 bucks. And he said, we got two people that weld. We can get those welded in there for you. So that's not a big deal at all either. So it's just going to need some stuff. I mean, like a, it, the motor don't need to be overhauled or anything like that, but it just needs your normal stuff. Um, next up, I got to find an alternator for it. And, oh, man, I, brakes. Brakes is going to be the next big thing because we got to re- replace all the brakes on all the lines. And I think that was going to be pretty much the biggest expense. Then once we get that done, it has a locking gas cap on it, keys, not anywhere. And on that truck, the gas tank is behind the seat. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is so odd to think about that back in the day that the gas tank is actually behind the seat. Gas tank looks like it's in really great condition. He feels pretty good about the gas tank. So that's the other thing we got to check out. He's going to, we got to get the gas tank out, make sure it don't need to be replaced or repaired. So, but it's coming along. It is coming along. I really excited about the farm truck. Well, I can tell you somebody else that is. Me, Carl? No. You? Nope. Who? Arlo. <laughs> I've been hearing you whispering to Arlo, yep. man, we got us a new farm truck coming. Me and you going to be cruising around the 40. <laughs> Me and my talking buddy. Talking to his dog now. Arlo's my little miniature schnauzer. That's my buddy. And they've been talking about riding in this truck. Jason doesn't think I can hear him, but I've been hearing him. <laughs> And Arlo, Arlo tells Gidget, and Gidget tells me, so you can't keep nothing around here. I can't keep here. nothing around here. Yeah, everything's secret. Everything gets, yeah. <laughs> they talk. Oh, my buddy Arlo. Yeah, he going to ride in that farm truck. Um, But I am excited about the farm truck. Oh, another thing about the farm truck is, so it's brown paint on the outside of it. I was going to say that. But it's not the original paint. The original paint would have been blue, white, and blue. And that's the original paint. And you can see it there because this other paint job is coming off. And either it's had it's been painted twice or it's got a gray primer. Well, the good thing is, well, first of all, Donnie, the, the young man working on my truck, he said that try graffiti remover goof off because the original paint is lacquer. There's no clear coat in lacquer. He says that's what they painted it with back in the day, and you just buffed it, and that's what created the shine on those trucks or cars back then. And he said, from what he's been told and understands is, is that the the stuff that's used in like these paint removers or whatever is for like a nowday paint, like an enamel type paint with a clear coat, and so you can spray it on there, and it will take off the new paint, and your old paint won't be affected. So I was like, well, heck yeah. So then I found a video on YouTube where this lady that redoes <laughs> Volkswagen buses. And she's Volkswagen a, everything. Wasn't everything, it? yeah. But, I mean, it, she blew my mind. I mean, this woman could well, I mean, <laughs> I can't, I don't even know the name of the channel. Donnie knew her, but I can't even remember the name of the channel. But she did the thing with the goof off, and it worked. So, so Jason told yeah. me to pick some up when I went to go pick up the 
distributor. Is that what I went and picked up? Yeah, I got distributor cap and he wires said, and stuff. He on said, me. Um, if you will pick me, see if they have that goof off. And I said, okay, I will. So I picked up the part and I got home. And he said, did, did they have the goof off? Bro, forgot to look <laughs> and i was like i am so sorry i forgot to look so i didn't think anything about it but he sent me on another parts run and i picked up a box of parts and he didn't say anything about the goof off and you but remembered my it this good time. brain remembered and i <laughs> bought a can of goof off and so jason took it with him on his last trip over there to to deliver the parts and we checked it out we sprayed a little spot and come to find out we th- we originally thought this gray paint was below the factory paint, and it's not. It's on top of the factory paint. So when we sprayed a little spot, this old brown came off, and the gray started coming off, and the blue was coming through, coming through. And it what looked, did you it looked use? Great. A scraper or something? No, he had some uh, shop rags, and we and we and just did a little spot. Off? We just, yeah. I mean, it wasn't like it come off and it looked immaculate, but it was eating the paint away. So yeah, it, it would it would. How many cans is it going to take? That I don't know. Well, I won't need to know this. We'll see. So I can start buying a can at a time. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't. I, I think a can's going to last a pretty good long time. I was surprised at how big of a can it was. Yeah, it's a big can. I'm thinking back the the lady that does the um Volkswagen. the Volkswagen. She used a can on the back of a bus, and it did like that whole back, and uh, so it did a good bit. So it's I got a feeling about forty three cans. <laughs> <laughs> if one can did the back of a Well, bus. I'm thinking once we get it here home, we pressure wash it with a high pressure washer and just knock off whatever we can get knocked off. And then take a paint scraper and just knock just off all the loose stuff. One. Yeah. All the loose stuff, get it all off, and then start spraying that and working on it. Because it's not like, now hers was almost solid painted. This one ain't solid painted. Oh, this paint job's coming off. That's a good thing. So that's a good thing. It may be that my, my nozzle on my pressure washer will just knock I, it right That's going to knock a lot of it off, I believe. I really do. We got a lot of painting to do on our hands. We got to paint the Airstream trailer. The Airstream trailer's coming up. Um, Actually, we got it parked under the carport. I'm fixing to start working on it hot and heavy uh, because we got to be able to move the Airstream and get it to the new farm. It's right now. It's up in the air. The shell's off of it. Yes. The frame is yep. is off of it. So our next step is to put some POR15 yep. on the frame of the camper and then put the new axles on. Yep, and I plan on the- paint everywhere around the axles, take the old axles off, paint where it is, and then put the new axles on. And then we'll put some wood down and yep. we'll lower the shell back. Lower the shell back. And then start- leave the framing in it. And then that way it'll be completely towable. And then we can tow wherever we want to, and then we can start working on the inside of it. Yep. Yep. But we need to get it over there before we start working on it. we got to get it over there. That's our biggest thing is how we're going to haul it. And we can't haul it the way it is right now. No. There's yeah. no, there's nothing for the shell to sit on. That's right. And it would just go up like a balloon right. if we... And I this is going to be... And this, thing yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a job. Putting the axles on is going to be a job. And putting the shell back on is going to be a job. Cutting the, cutting the plywood, those curves, um, all that's going to be... That's going to be a pretty good job, but what if we, we can do it? Can we cut the plywood before we set the shell down? Yeah, the plywood's going to be cut before we set the shell down, oh, that's and the good. shell's going to sit on that's top of the good, plywood. That's good because that way we won't be trying to cut around the metal. No, 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 no. Okay, and good. I actually saved some of the curves. Yeah, I from remember when we that. Pulled the old plywood up, and we got to so. put the belly pan back on, or can we do that over there? We can do that over there. Oh, okay. Yep. Go okay. do it over there. So another thing is about our hats. We have got some new merchandise in. Um, we've talked about it. I bet y'all thought I was in disguise <laughs> when you saw me. We talk, um, Hats have been issue along with everything else since COVID. Uh, there are typical hats like these Richardson hats. I have some left in our two main colors that I always keep in this red and the charcoal. Charcoal is almost gone, but no color whatsoever richardson hats are available right now and everybody's you know you know has this issue i found some royal blue ones the other night um they were at a supplier i guess nobody likes royal blue i thought they looked pretty cool and they were on clearance really because i guess nobody wanted it well i do have this new color and i I got that i think i got a few of these um this one is brown and tan i do love this one um so that is a new hat we got out. We got probably 10 of these. I like that one. 
I think it looks manly. Yeah, I really do like it. I found this color when we closed on our house, and Alabama Ag gave me a hat. Oh. And this is the exact same hat. So that's the same color. Same color. Okay. And this is the low profile. We closed Richardson. on our house. We closed on our land. Our land. This is, and this is the low profile Richardson hat, and that's the name brand. If people know anything about hats, they know what the Richardson hat is. We also have women's hats, and I guess you could say kids too. Um, it's a small, I mean, it's for a that's small, a small head. Yeah. I'll take my. Um, headphones off so you can see it. I mean, it's it's if you have if you're a lady and you have a larger head, you might want to go with the man's. You might want to go with because it's kind of small, adult large it's, one. It's yeah. just kind of. And you offer these in both sizes, don't you? Offer those in both sizes. That color, that gray color, is in a regular adult large, and then that small. You've got the small listed as a ladies. The small list is as I think I got listed as small fit. That okay. one listed as a small fit. Now we do have one that's for the ladies. And that is this one right here. This is one Mary Carl loves this one. And I've talked about it, but we finally got them and got the got our logos on it. And this is a lavender or light purple baseball cap with a mesh back. But here's the cool thing. It's got a ponytail hole in it. Ponytail where your ponytail back. comes out of it. So we and have it's, these it's available. So you can like it is undo Velcro. this and adjust it all. Whereas these have just buckle. have that buckle. When I was talking about getting women's hats, that was that came up was if I could get the Velcro, which I did, and this one has the ponytail hole in it. Now, if you just wanted to wear it, uh, wear it regular, you could. I don't you wouldn't think notice you wouldn't that notice hole. the ponytail holder in, hole in it. But we do have these available now, and I have also in an adult large. Your, um, I call these dad caps. I don't know what people, other people call them, unstructured or It's slouch. like the one I have on. Just like the one you got on. And khaki. So we have these in an adult large. I don't have these in a small, just the adult large. This is a gray color that yep. I have on. Yep. And that, is that what you have it listed as? It's gray? Gray. That's correct. So Y'all buy some hats so to keep that sun yeah. out of your face. That's right. Keep the sun out of your face. So there's and, basically five new hats on the site right now. And help us build a pond. <laughs> we we'll call this the pond fun. <laughs> the pond fun. That's right. And the hats Any are done by us. We do the fun. hats here at our farm. We ship them out. We put the uh, logo on it. The logo on it. We do all that here. So it's not like it's coming from, you know, our shirts come from a big company that's tied with YouTube. So we don't have any hands-on control of the shirts. We but got all the control over this. The hats we do here and we ship them out. The next day or the next shipping day, like somebody ordered one Friday afternoon, or I mean Saturday afternoon, it'll be, it'll Monday. be Monday, but we try to get them out as fast as we can. We do pretty well with our... We do pretty well with it. And we follow what we are gonna, what we say we're going to do, although we don't with our podcast. We don't. <laughs> That's fixing the change. It's fixing the change, because yeah. we're fixing to be running a tight ship around here. And we're going to have internet. We're going to have internet. We're, there's not going to be any excuses. No excuses. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> I just can't wait. I can't hardly control myself. Internet. I mean, we have been, we have never been with a good internet. No, never been good. And we're running two households on this internet. Two we got households here. with this internet. Mm -hmm. And we just upgraded and I can't tell one iota worth the difference between the initial internet and the upgrade. I can't either. And, but, you oh know, well. it's okay. We're not going to have to deal with it much longer. That's right. I'm excited, <laughs> if you can't tell. But I'm even more excited to find out about the pond. So. I'm excited about the pond, too. And I'm hoping this guy, too, can say, I'm, yes. I'm thinking he can. I think so, oh, y'all really don't want to build here because it's sloping this way, and you're going to have to do this, this, and this. I'm thinking this guy can help us out with that, too. I, I'm just hoping he can say if this pond's doable or not. I That's mean, true, yep. You know, he he can give us a cost, and we'll know whether we can afford it or not. But we also don't even know if it's doable. Right. In this area. That's right. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it either. I mean, I, I, I asked Ross, mm -hmm. Piper's daddy, about it. And he's just not in a, a location here where he can just run over there and take a look at it and tell me what he thinks. He's a busy man, and I yeah. would not want to ask him to take time out of his schedule to come and look at my hole. Plus, too, it's kind of, it's not like it's where we are now, where they're just, you know, hop, skip, and jump away. I mean, yes. you'd have to go... All the way over there, and then, I don't know, it just seems like we may 
waste his time. I don't know. Speaking of that, we have been taking care of um, Piper's animals this That's week. That's right. And I have to go over. She has a duck, and the duck just stays out loose. The chickens stay in a coop and a run. This is crazy, yeah. She has one duck, and he had a friend, but <laughs> his, something happened to his friend, and so it's a single lone duck. Mary Carl has a friend for this duck, but she doesn't want to give it to her until Piper gets back right? and can spend time with her and make right, sure right. that she's going to stay because they live on a pond. Right. So this duck, he looks like he has some runner in him, don't you think? Yeah, he looks a lot like a runner. And he stays right near the coop he doesn't leave he doesn't swim he doesn't leave he's full grown he doesn't mm-hmm. leave he stays right there they have a dog kennel an enclosed dog kennel that stays beside the coop and this duck goes up at night and they shut him up and in the morning they let him back out <laughs> he goes up in that little dog kennel because as y'all know <laughs> ducks are not the cleanest creatures in the world no, they're not. so they can't let him in their coop where he's going to get the you know, water everywhere and the food everywhere. Right. And, you know, risk them getting sick over messing their area up. So he lives outside, but it's just so strange that he stays right there and he just goes in this little crate and you just shut the door and it's like night, night, Chris. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> night, night, Chris. But Mary Carl has him a girlfriend because she knows it's a boy. What's so she, his name? Who, the girl? Yeah. I don't know. All I know is she has a purple band on. Oh, okay. She's done banded it. She so. has banded it, and she was going to take it before they went on their trip. But Piper said, wait till she gets back, and okay. that way she can make sure that she's there to supervise Chris and his new wife. <laughs> With our purple band. And I bet they're going to go in that crate to- together Yeah. and shut the door. I bet so. Instead of just a single duck, it'll be a duel. I hope she likes Chris. I hope so, too. <laughs> she doesn't. She's going to be in for a rude awakening. But there's lots of ducks on the property that aren't theirs that swim in that pond, but not Chris. Chris don't care nothing about them. No. He stays right there. <laughs> he said, this is my home. I stay right here. Oh, my gracious. That's funny. So, um, on our next episode, mm-hmm. hope, 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 fingers crossed, we will have lots of updates. We will have... Fast internet. Yes. We will have... I'm about to tear this place up. I'm so excited. <laughs> we will have news about our pond. Yes. We will have sold 80,000 hats, and we will have oh, the gosh. funds to pay for <laughs> <laughs> the pond. We better start ordering. We better, because they're on hats. back order. Yeah, so... Hats are hard to get. They are hard to get. They are very hard to but get. But anyway, we hope we'll have more information about yep. what's going to happen. That's right. And I, I need to know what... What angle my house is going to face. I just am having trouble figuring it out. I need somebody to just come say, this is where you need to put your house. This is where it needs to go. And that's where it's going to go. You know, I just want somebody to say, yes, you can put the house there and you're not going to have any issues. That's what I want. Well, the architect said that, basically. He said, this looks good. I mean, but then we didn't like it. Yeah. You know, we kind of didn't like the area. So, Uh, we'll figure it out. All right. Until the next one. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all, y'all be, be good. good. Hey, if you have not seen our main channel, our vlogging channel, we do two vlogs a week. Go check it out. I'll put some right over here that I think you may like. Y'all be good.